Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Roberts Play 10 digital radio. Now this model is actually available in two colours, either black or white. And I'd normally show you the different colours on the front of the boxes, but what Roberts have decided to do is to make them the same colour. A uh, little bit confusing from a stock point of view, but the only difference is on the side, to show you that, so you've clearly got the white one there and then the black one at the top. But anyway, so as I say, it's available in two colours, but for the purpose of this video, I'll be showing you the black one, but all the functions and features are basically the same across the two. Uh, really what I want to do is to get it plugged in, get it tuned in to show you how it works, and just really see why it's one of the most popular radios in the UK at the moment. So let's have a look. Now for some people, the size of the radio is actually quite important. So the dimensions on this one are 18 centimeters across, five and a half centimeters deep and 10 centimeters high at the highest point. Now something to bear in mind is that it has got the aerial on top as well. So I only mention about the sizes because we, we'd actually do a lot of these and some people want to put this say, uh, under a shelf, um, but we always try and point out that because you've got the aerial on top, then it's not really suitable to go under a shelf. So that's really what I mentioned about the dimensions. Now it is a really nice lightweight design. You have actually got a handle on the side, so if you wanted to carry it around, then you've got that option. Uh, also, it is either battery or mains operated, and it does actually come with the mains adapter, which is this. I'll get it plugged in and show you that in a moment. Uh, but if you did need to use it on the batteries, then it basically takes four AA batteries, and that's easy to get into. So you just take the back cover off, pop the four batteries in there. Uh, it is always recommended uh, nowadays with uh, with things like digital radios that ideally if it's going to be in a certain position we always recommend to try and use the mains power. Uh, you can find that sometimes if you are using it on batteries and if you're using it a lot then they can be quite hungry on the consumption of the batteries. So if again if it is in a certain position try and use it on a, a mains connection. If you need to listen to your radio through headphones then Roberts have already thought about that and they've put a headphone socket on the side. Uh, it just makes life a little bit easier. So if there's other people in the room that don't want to listen to what you're listening to, then they've put the headphone socket on the side so you can just listen to it through your headphones. So now I've shown you some of the connections, then we'll get it switched on. And what I'd always recommend is before you switch it on, just make sure that the aerial is fully extended. Because uh, what this will do is it's actually got an auto tune function so all you need to do is just press the on and off button and first of all it says welcome so it's very polite and what this will do is this will actually go through and it will actually pick out certain channels that you can get and at the moment this is on the the dab so it's on the digital radio uh, you have also got FM as well, so there are certain channels on, on year, FM that you want. Is making people too so just to turn that down a little bit. And what that's done, so to just show you that, so that's the, the volume setting. So that's plus and minus, so it's nice and easy to read. And this will actually show you the station that's on. So as you can see, that's absolute radio at the moment. So what you'd normally do is when you want to listen to a station, is you use the tuning dial on the right hand side here and when you turn it it shows you on here on the display which channel you're on so hopefully you can see that so if you wanted say uh, radio one then just highlight that and leave it so after a couple of seconds then it will go to that station now for most people they have certain stations that they listen to and what roberts have done is they've given us three preset options now you've actually got three preset options on DAB, on the digital side, and you've also got three presets on the FM, so you've got six altogether. And to do that, to preset the station, so if you wanted Radio 1 for example, then just press and hold, so that's P1 saved, it was pretty quick, but that's preset 1 saved. And then if you wanted, say, Radio 2, then just move to that station, and then press and hold that, so that's P2 saved, and let's say radio three. So you just move that round and wait for that to come on, then press and hold that, 
So that's actually three stations preset, so it's really, really easy to do. And then if you want to listen to one of the preset stations, then just press that button, and so that's gone to radio one, and then radio two, and then radio three. So, and to access the FM, all you need to do is press and hold the menu and mode button, and then it goes over to FM, and it clearly displays the frequency that's on there, and all you need to do is to move to the frequency that you want, and if you wanted to preset them, then once you've found the frequency, then same as the DAB, just press and hold the button, so it's nice and easy to do. Uh, I must admit the majority of channels are on DAB now, especially as, as time's gone on and as the coverage has got a lot better over the last year or so, then personally I'd recommend if, if the station you're listening to is on both FM and DAB, then most people will tend to listen to the DAB version. The sound quality can be a little bit better, uh, but there are still certain stations that are only on FM, but at least you've still got the option. So the next thing to show you are the display options. That's what you want to be displayed on the top here. Now, the majority of the time, you'd want the station to know what you're listening to. Uh, but by pressing, so when you've got it on the station, by pressing the tuning button, then it just scrolls through the different options. So as I mentioned, the first one is the station name. The next one is what they call scrolling text. And this is things like the artist, the track name, um, the, say that if there's a, a phone in number, then it will display it on here. The next one is the program type. So that's what basically the, like the genre of music you're listening to. So for example, on here, that's pop music. The next one is the signal strength. Uh, because I'm in this, I'm in a small room at the moment, uh, mainly because it's hopefully nice and quiet, uh, but the signal strength in here is very low. I've only got one, but hopefully you should get a, a lot better signal strength. What you can find is if, if the signal strength where you've got the radio located is quite low, then you might need to move it to get a better reception. Uh, the next one is the type of uh, station or the, they call it the, the multiplex name. So this is clearly on DAB at the moment. And the next one is the frequency. That's the frequency of the channel. And then after that, you've got other options like the time. So this is 10 past eight in the morning. And then you've got the date. So for some people, you might just want the time on there. Uh, but it's a nicer option to have rather than always having the, the station name, especially if you're using the presets. So it's a really good range of different options there. And then to get back to the station, you just press the tuning button again and then you're back to the beginning. So one of the last things is a feature called dynamic range control. Um, it's a little bit difficult to explain, uh, but basically what happens is if you listen to radio in a noisy environment, then you've got the option to adjust the volume depending on how the broadcaster has sent it. Uh, and the way to do that is if you press the menu button and then move that to DRC, the dynamic range control and then press the that button and you've got three options so you've got naught one or one forward slash two and basically zero is off so there's no control at all and then between one and one point one forward slash two then with those options uh, that will set the volume depending on the what's been set by the broadcaster um, it's it, it's sort of thing, I, there's no point showing you because uh, you wouldn't be able to uh, get it at the moment. Um, it's a little bit difficult to explain, uh, but it's sort of thing that if the radio is used in a noisy environment, then it can be a feature that's very useful. Now, on the odd occasion, you would just need to do a like a retune on your radio. So similar to your television, where you need to do a retune to get new channels. Uh, on your radio, all you need to do is press and hold the tuning button. And what that's done is that's basically reset the radio. And what it will do is it will actually pick out all of the channels again. And it just goes through and updates them. And this can be useful to do on the on an odd occasion, 
But the good thing is that it has kept any preset stations. So if you're concerned about doing that and losing any of the presets, then don't worry because it does keep them in there. So if you're thinking about buying one of these cheeky little radios, then I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. I hope you enjoyed the video on the Roberts Play 10. Please give us a thumbs up, click subscribe on the YouTube video, leave any comments below. I'd always ask for comments, whether it's good or bad about the video itself, or if you've got one of these radios, then let me know what you think about it. Or if you have got any questions about it, then put them in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.